I've got my water for this because I'm gonna need it. back again with another video and today I've got a huge book haul like like it's really big <laughs> I know that the past three videos basically have been book hauls I promise I'll get some new content out there just how it's worked out and that's okay I went in to get two jeans and I left with like 35 books. Correction, I got 27 books. I also have eight from Half Price Books from last week. In my defense, all of the manga and some of the other ones I'll show counted as kids, so they were 49 cents. And then all the other ones were 89 cents. This video is gonna be long, just bear with me. First book I'm seeing here is the Black Box by Michael Connolly. Is this a movie? From my understanding, this is a murder mystery thriller type of book. This could be a good book for October. It just seems fast paced and I love a good mystery so why not? Then I picked up this very very beautiful edition of Gravity's Rainbow by Thomas Pynchon? Pynchon? I need to look that up. Pinchon, I think that's right. 19. In nineteen seventy four, Gravity's Rainbow won the Pulitzer Award, but the committee or the board like vetoed it and didn't give him the prize. So I've heard this book is really good. I've heard it's hard to understand and I've heard it's hard to get into, but I'm not letting that scare me. I find it really, really fun when novels tend to be deeper and harder to understand because it's just so much more rewarding at the end. This is the first edition. I read that this novel is comparable to Ulysses by James Joyce, which is another book that I've really been wanting to read. So say no more. I just, I'm excited to read this. And I got The Heretic Queen by Michelle Morin. This book takes place in ancient Egypt. She is an Egyptian princess and something happens with their family and they're like disowned or, it's my cat. They're like disowned or, <laughs> Uh, banished or something. I'm not really sure what happens. She is taken in by the aunt of the pharaoh I believe and then they raise her as a queen and this just sounds super fun. My cat's biting me. This sounds super intriguing. It sounds political. It sounds like there's gonna be some romance so oh Reno. Super excited for this book and I got Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepetis. This book takes place in 1950s New Orleans and she's the daughter of a prostitute in town and she was raised in a brothel and I think she comes up with some scheme or some plan to get out of it. What seems to be the theme of the book is that your decisions shape you and that your decisions have an impact on your destiny. I got The Selection by Kira Cass, which is a book that I've seen on booktube for years now and I've heard awesome things. Uh, Carol T. Reads the other day posted a video about how this is one of the best books she's picked up because of booktube and I saw it and I thought of her and I had to buy it. She said she doesn't like romance too much and she loved it and I love romance so I feel like I'll love it. I'm excited. Can you see how like all these books are in such good quality? Then I picked up The Winner's Curse by Mary Rutzkowski. This is a YA fantasy book and yeah, I've heard of it on book two. She's like a fighter or whatever and I love a good heroine. So then I picked up The Nine Lives of Chloe King by Liz Braswell. I'm not really sure what this is about, I think. 
she's like a cat or something because it says she discovers who she is or where she comes from and that she has like super fast reflexes, nine vision and claws and then there's nine lives. So I'm thinking she's like a cat. It says it's an ABC Family original series. Pretty sure I've heard of this book on booktube. I don't know what has been said about it, but again, 89 cents and it's one, two, three in this edition, which are The Fallen, The Stolen, and The Chosen. So who knows, maybe I'll enjoy it. Then I've got The House of Blue Mangoes by David Davidar. This takes place in India in 19, I mean, in 1899 I believe so it's historical fiction as well. I thought this cover was stunning. It's beautiful. I love the bright colors in it. There's palm trees. It's just super pretty and I read that it's more kind of like growing up with the character and showing you what it's like to live in India at this time. Picked up Through Dark Mist by Marsha Canham and Okay, I'm not too sure what this is about, but listen to this. Okay, so once we open up the step back, which is beautiful, they're like stepping into water or some mist or something. Over here, it says a time of kings, dragons, and a passion that knew no bounds. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Mainly because of the dragons. I've been wanting to read something with dragons for so long and I never come across any and I just... Dragons and romance. Yes. I got Every Breath You Take by Judith McNaught. This is a romance but I think it's a creepier one. The guy she's dating, his brother disappears and I think he's a suspect and then he just disappears from her life. So then she has to wonder if he did it. Now I want to read spookier books during October and maybe November. So this could be a happy medium. And I picked up two sci-fi books because it's a genre that I'm very interested in, but I don't delve in it at all. I think I've only read like one sci-fi book. I got The Martian by Andy Weir because I've heard this is actually a really good book. Sometimes I'm a bit more apprehensive to read books when I know movies already been made and it's a loved movie. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. And um, I've heard really good things about this book and I've heard it's like sci-fi that you can handle, like you can, it's easy sci-fi and it's entertaining. And then I've got The Songs of Distant Earth by Arthur C. Clarke. I think this is like, some aliens or humans or something live out in space in a colony and it's like paradise and then people who are trying to escape earth and they all come to this colony. I read that this was classic sci-fi and you either love it or you hate it. I was reading this post on Goodreads that said that sci-fi fans can be categorized into two groups and one is like this author and then the other one was another author and that made me really curious to see what this was about because I feel like sci-fi has so much to offer and oh my god I was holding it upside down and I got some manga and I got two four six seven eight nine of series by Yu Watasi and I know I'm missing some but manga is honestly so expensive so I decided to just get these and then I can complete it individually. And yeah, it's about this girl who I think a power awakens in her. And then there's some guys she meets. I don't know. I think it's like a romance auction. I'll show y'all the covers. This is number two. This is four. That is beautiful. This is six. This is seven. Oh my god, I love that. This is 9, and then this is 10. So, I just read this little line which I hadn't noticed. It says, all of these say this, it's horror, comedy, and romance made in heaven. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I picked up Loveless by Yoon Kuga. 
two and number four again uh it seemed interesting to me i like i've been wanting to get more into like girly manga and i'll just complete the rest as i find them at half price books or something and then i got absolute boyfriend by you with Tossi as well this girl made a wish that she wanted a boyfriend and then the next day some guy shows up like na naked asking to be her boyfriend now i'm gonna go through the books i got at half price books last week real quick it's two series which were so well priced so i just got them the first is the cirque de freak why a fantasy kind of horror-ish uh, vampire series uh, my boyfriend recommended this to me he told me he loved them when he was younger and I was looking for something easy and fast to read while we were at the lake so I picked these up and I was gonna get the first one and then all the other ones were like $3.99 each so I just got them I just finished reading this last week it's a living nightmare it's the first book these are written by Darren Shan. And then Darren Shan, the main character of the book, he goes to a freak show with his friend after everyone had told them not to. Everyone had warned them that they were illegal and they were unethical and they were cruel. But they're boys and I'm guessing they're like between 13 and 15. So stupid. During the show, Darren Shan notices his friend, Steven, Steve, gets really pale and really serious after the act of Mr. Cripsley. Later on, Darren has to make the decision whether to become a vampire or save the life of his friend, Steve. Yeah, it's honestly super easy to read. It's so fast paced. It's very like easy YA and it's just fun. The second one is The Vampire's Assistant. The third one is <laughs> Tunnels of Blood. And then the fourth one is Vampire Mountain. I believe there are 12 in this series, but I just got these four just to start with something. I didn't want to overdo it. Then I got a series that is super surprising that I haven't read because it's huge on booktube i've always wanted to read this series and i was just waiting for the right time and i found these on the sales section of half price books and they're like really good quality so why the heck not and it is the first four books to the immortal instruments series by cassandra clare and i am so pumped i got the first book city of bones great quality this was $3.99 and I've got City of Angels which was two dollars and again it's just like perfect quality then I got the third book City of Glass and again beautiful quality and then City of Fallen Angels the fourth book I think I'm gonna binge read this during September because I am itching to read it that wraps up <laughs> my book haul Thank you if you've stayed this long. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've read any of these and which ones I should prioritize. Which ones do you want me to read first? Also, tell me if you want me to vlog any of these because I've never vlogged and it seems kind of fun. Subscribe and thank you very much. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and bye! Yeah.